We're here with Jeff Walker, one of the leading investors, philanthropists, and business strategists bringing mind training to scale. He's the author of The Generosity Network and one of the principals in Bridge Builders Collaborative. Jeff, tell us what you're up to nowadays in the mindfulness and mind training work that you're doing. Sure, Jim. Um, focusing on a couple of different things, in fact, three of them. Uh, one is uh, investing in this area of mind training, mindfulness, uh, using contemplation um, in lots of different ways. And it's investing in things like Happify and eMindful and Happify is online and eMindful is working through Aetna to provide services to companies. Uh, Muse, which is a technical device um, that can read brain waves. Um, so we're investing, the three of us, um, four of us actually, um, Austin Hurst, Scott Krenz, and Scott Beck, have joined together over the last four years and have been investing and finding uh, some really interesting uh, companies to, uh, uh, to fund. Um, number two, I uh, work on research. I chair the Center for Contemplative Sciences at the University of Virginia, the outside board, and uh, work very closely with them. And they're focusing on a variety of different ways of applying contemplation to the world. They have 11 schools that actually work together, and they have a major project in Louisville, Kentucky, um, with uh, thousands of kids being brought contemplative skills, yoga, and social emotional learning, a five-year trial, working uh, with other universities like University of Wisconsin and UCLA to design a contemplative university. How do we bring these skills to college students? Um, we're also trying to translate a lot of the tools of contemplation to the business world, the healthcare world, uh, particularly through uh, MBSR and, and nursing um, and others. So it's a, it's a great uh, you know, focus on translating academia and research into apply. Um, circumstances. And then lastly, translating um, through philanthropy as well as time, uh, speaking about mindful leadership, uh, writing about it. Uh, um, I spoke to uh, 600 people at Morgan Stanley three weeks ago talking about applying skills of contemplation to the business world. Um, and so I, I, I enjoy it, uh, trying to work and bridge some of the science and translate. And then obviously I have my own practice. And so trying to go in and continue to grow and learn, um, blending some of the different uh, tools and techniques that we're learning about through all these other activities. Jeff, that's a very impressive array of activities. And we know from watching you from Mindful that that's had a very positive impact on the field. Tell us what, uh, what's emerging for you and your work in 2016. Yeah, I mean, this year, um, there is a clear momentum shift over the last couple of years in the idea of applying contemplation to a whole variety of different areas. And um, I'm spending some time now thinking about how to break down what everybody is now calling meditation or mindfulness and um, talk about it as skills and tools um, that aren't all one thing. Um, and so if we're talking about mindful leadership, Maybe we're talking about increasing concentration skills. And so there's a different contemplative technique for that, um, more focused meditation. Maybe um, you're looking at creativity, and so that's open awareness. And maybe you're working on team building, and so that's a meta loving kindness uh, set of meditations. And there's science now looking at each one of those and trying to decide and determine which areas of the brain are stimulated when you go through um, these kinds of efforts. So I'm really interested in continuing to go deeper into the science side, breaking down almost a dictionary of contemplative practices as to what works, what researchers are working on, what aspects of it. On the investment side, uh, we're also spending time, continuing to look for some companies, but probably spending more time on our portfolio itself, uh, helping it grow uh, in the mindfulness world. Um, understanding what are the best ways to bring a lot of these tools to the world. Is it through the consumer side or maybe it's through, you know, more of a business through business um, strategy where you sell contemplative products through insurance companies, through hospital groups. Um, so we're playing around with those ideas, trying to find what necessarily might be the best way uh, to scale some of these enterprises and also having them work together um, and adding value to them through our network. 
And then um, in the translation side, you know, playing more with this idea of if you are a mindful leader and you have the tools of contemplation, are you going to be more effective? And particularly balancing the head and the heart. The head is the wisdom practices. And I'm spending more time working on the uh, loving kindness practices with Sharon Salzberg, for example. We've developed uh, street loving kindness, which are a set of videos. And if you if you were on a subway, you know, while you're there, think about the person across from you and maybe use some some thought about, you know, wishing them well. And maybe you did that. You know, maybe you'll do that as you're walking down the street or others. And so how do we start bringing these uh, tools of, of a heart orientation to our practices as much as um, these concentration practices and more wisdom oriented practices? So I'm fascinated by that. And I think we're going to see a lot of really interesting things in the areas of sports, uh, business, obviously, and lots of different companies or uh, one private equity group. I'm good friends with spent two days uh, training their staff and in, in uh, mindfulness techniques with uh, Janice Marantano actually did this did the uh, um, consulting for them that never would have happened five or set five or ten years ago so um, the sea change is occurring and we're going to see more and more of it in 2016 for sure that's terrific Jeff can you uh, suggest what you'd like to see mindful do to help support your work in 2016? Sure, it'd be great if uh, Mindful could um, continue to enlarge the community. And so looking for ways to enlarge the umbrella, enlarge the circle of those interested. Sometimes we all talk too much to ourselves. And so uh, reaching out and bringing in others, and maybe it's through small uh, groups, or maybe it's through you know large discussions about uh, tools and techniques to make ourselves more effective. There's a, a hot hot set of products now that are starting to come out. Um, there's controversial things like uh, the luminosity settlement that just occurred where the luminosity had claims that were unproven um, as to using their service and whether it did uh, uh, help extend your uh, or improve your mind as you aged. And the evidence just wasn't there. And so let's make sure to hold ourselves accountable. And if Mindful could kind of maybe write about that, track that, you know, maybe call call somebody on uh, uh, if they're overstating uh, some of the claims or, or let's make sure that we're doing that. Also keeping us aware of innovations, you know, what kind of tools are out there? Who are some of the interesting companies? Who are the, some of the interesting um, individuals who are changing uh, the way that contemplation uh, is being seen? One of the other things I'm pretty interested in is, is not only applying contemplation to education, but maybe connecting these contemplative tools to social emotional learning uh, systems. And so it used to be seen as two different worlds, whereas actually contemplative tools can be uh, great um, uh, instruments to use to reinforce uh, the social emotional learning techniques in school systems. And so I'm doing a lot of bridging and I think Mindful could do some bridging as well. Let's go in the outside world, and find you know what is going on with Castle, which is an organization focusing on bringing SEL to nine major districts of schools in the United States. What are we doing with them and contemplation? Can they reside together? Are they complementary? Um, those, kind of, those kind of pieces and that kind of information would be uh, useful. And then if you have um, you know, a survey of who, is, who's do, who are influencers in the space, who are the really interesting tools that people ought to spend more time thinking about, and then who are the major researchers out there and what are they spending time on today? So I'll know then who I should be calling, um, who is possible. Right now, if I want to work on contemplation and concentration and ADHD, I'm having to go online and guess and ask around. You know, it could be that you'd have a, uh, a list of what the major uh, contemplative experts and researchers are doing. So it's more um, um, so that more, more uh, collaboration could occur uh, in a more easy way. That's terrific, Jeff. Thank you so much.